Hello everybody and welcome back to, uh, wow, Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartending Action. Uh, in the last one, uh, Joe was going through some grief. Also, my name is Joshua. I really need to figure out my entrances. I don't really know how to do the beginning of these videos. It's okay, I'll figure it out someday. We're going to load because that's the easy part to do. And I started saving in the actual chronological order of my saves, so I don't have to go back if I mess up recording, which is nice. Stella and Say make a make me a bit jealous. Oh right, because they're so lovey dovey. All right, we we've got way too many. back. Looks like you calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I'll t I cooled down a bit. Say so helped me a lot with that one though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Apologize for my bad reading. Speaking of which, where is she? I be believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with two centimeter with a with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Oh. Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting whom? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection. So, most of the time, I only ask Sai if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with... Whoa. She's trained to deal with the kinds of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So, I'm assuming that gorilla outside is your bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. Of course he played football. Like, what bodyguard these days bouncer people haven't played haven't haven't done football so we've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service but he rejects it every time well he got used to the replacement he's using so maybe it's for the best it's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump what and, <laughs> and then he can still run faster than me with it true do you want something <laughs> I'm fine right now. No! Drink more, say. Sigh, say. I don't know. I'll figure it out one day. I need to get you more drunk. A Brantini. A big one. I'm in a good mood. Good. You should be in a good mood. Your waifu's back. Brantini. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. <laughs> Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for one of only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. That's what I do all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. I know what you mean when you say some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Oh, this will be a good story. Stella showed up in a park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more and that was that. Ahem. <laughs> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Sai happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I don't- I, that's a scene I can't forget. Aww, she's so cute. Look at her face. So you two have known each other for most of your lives. I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Oh. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have been could have sworn you were an item. 
Uh, an, an item? What 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 kind of item? Probably a a couple. Sorry. What? She got mechanical arms. Oh, item. Yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. <laughs> Three years in a row. So you two didn't go. So you two didn't go to the same high school. Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kinds to eat raw Bronson... Bronson roots every morning? Bronson. It's like... Not Branson. Not like Branson, Missouri. Brr. Is she cold? I don't like him. <laughs> but around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to only barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. That is kinda weird. But yeah, he's the Whoa. He's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey Jill, what's this? Bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice at first. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. <laughs> Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. Two big bloom lights. I do wrong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, all aged on the rocks and mixed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aged and mashed and mixed. There you go. Here. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it really. S <laughs> yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's. Uh, dimming the light? Huh? I guess she had too much before I came. Yes! But she didn't do anything silly. She just fell asleep. Now we gotta find her a ride home. It's not what I wanted to do. Well, that, and she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing. She'd tell me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Oh, that'd be nice. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Sai is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent prosecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know. Along all the people, among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Sai was one of the few. Wow, I can't read. I just I can't English. Sai was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the God's favor, I think. But you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. What? How? When I saw Sai, wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. Whoa. Yeah, that kind of makes you bad. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. That's that's more selfish than bad. It, if you explain it in a good way, like, that's not bad, it's just selfish. I felt truly useful, useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Well, at least you know. Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, Sai. 
Let's get hamburgers and go home. Mm, uh, yeah. We'll be leaving now. Goodbye, Stella. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No. I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim. Welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. This is Kim's second time back. I haven't seen her since the first time she came through and she wanted to murder me. Because she thought I abducted her or something. Which I would. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Sunshine cloud. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Oh, optional karma train. Like, I'm sorry. Wait, no. It's actually better just to do the full, the two and the two. Oh, my goodness. All on the rocks and blended. I hope she orders another one. <laughs> There you go. Here. Thanks. So how was the work on the web paper? I've been I've been reading it. They all seem like spam mail. It seems like that one something social website news feed. It sounds a lot like their stuff. So how's the work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. Ah, good for you. That's why it's coming out so shitty. Nice. I'm glad you left it. What? Yep, I went to the office of that chauvinistic horseblower and told him I quit. Yeah, that's right. Why did you do that? Well, after I got drunk and overslept, I missed some assignments. My supervisor yelled at me for being late. I got mandatory <laughs> police. <laughs> so at some point, I just kind of snapped and said that I didn't have to put up with that. So I quit. That's my fault. I got her drunk. That was me. Ah, I see. Um, sorry again about that, by the way. Oh, don't worry. I should be the one apologizing. Lashing out like that the next day and all. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you always have some second thoughts, even if you don't want to. And you still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is... I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. Yeah. Yeah, I know the feeling. I feel free. These are definitely going through, like, stages of grief. Especially for Jill. Like, before, with um, Stella and Sai, say, whatever her name is. She's best girl, by the way. Their whole thing is that she might have been gone and, and Sai might have been dead. And Stella was not sure what she was going to do. She was just, you know, ragged, but... You know, their whole relationship between those two was just, it was, it was, it's, it's nice. And I don't really know if that's particularly like a stage of grief, but it's a lot of thankfulness between the two. And then her here, she's talking about how she just didn't, she couldn't be there anymore. She was, she was feeling like she was stuck and, and didn't just, just didn't want to be there anymore. And I completely understand that feeling. And I know a lot of people who, who have felt that feeling before and she just moved on. And she doesn't know what she's going to do. And I think that's really important for Jill specifically because. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm on a ramble. I don't really know how I'm supposed to say it. But Jill needs to realize that the reason why she left um, Lorraine was that she was feeling stuck. She didn't feel free. And it's not because of Lorraine, it's because of the situation and maybe the place she was at and how she, and she just, she needed to get out of there, she was going to go crazy and that's understandable. It, it really is saying that it's not Jill's fault that Lorraine died. Yeah, maybe there was a whole bunch of stuff that was going on between the two and maybe her, maybe Jill leaving really did cause so much stress in Lorraine's life that, that she got sick and she ended up passing away. But that's not Jill's fault. Every person has to take care of themselves. Every person has to take charge of their own life and, and move their own life forward. It can't just be... You can't blame yourself for something happening to someone else. And if you're someone else, unless somebody specifically is targeting you, 
and making your life hell, like bullies in like middle school, elementary school, high school. You have people who go out of their way to make you feel like shit. You can blame them, that's their fault. But it's also your responsibility to forgive them and to not let yourself be stuck in that feeling still. You can always find a way to move on. That's what I'm taking from this. I'll stop rambling, I'll keep reading Kim. Free. Yeah, see, she's thinking about it. I was right. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. Yes, you can. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good feeling. <laughs> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you going to do, and all that? But I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kinds? I don't know. Bubbly or something. Bubbly? Is it something called bubble? Bubble, bubble, bubble? Fluffy dream might be bubbly. Bubbly drinks. There we go. Beer, frothy water. Beer, beer is, I guess beer is bubbly. It's very foamy. I don't know how beer is made. I have a friend who makes beer. Frothy water. No, no, this is, this is a good celebration for it. The, a cobalt velvet is two aldehyde, two flanger guide, and five carmatrine, all in the rocks and mixed. It's like champagne served on a cup that had a bit of cola left. Bubbly, classy, burning. I don't really know if I want a burner. Oh, yes. What's more celebratory than a lot of alcohol? You don't need to taste anything. That's what the aldehyde is for. Which still sounds like you'd scrub your floor with it. All aged and mixed. Here is a fringe weaver. Here. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. <laughs> yeah, it's for cleaning. That's what I said. Oh, oh, right. I can bring up the old chats. It'll also kill things inside of you. <laughs> I gotta ask, though. How did you end up working here? Or working there? No deep reasons. That's why I did... That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. Robotics is pretty cool, and journalism is pretty cool, too. I always kind of wanted to do journalism because I like to write, but... Writing is hard. It's taken me a long time. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. Too much pressure from my family. Oh. It's a really common tale, I guess. Nah. Did you have troubles like these? Same story as you, I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom, a little pause to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh, uh, give me a, a something. Something? Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. All right. For uh, something, literally. I thought we tossed that out. No, that's past expiration date. I can't use that. Let's do some classy drinks. You know what? Frothy water is probably very, very good. PG-rated shows. Favorite beer as rat since 2040. Bubbly classic. Lands. That'll really help clear out the throat there. Uh, one aldehyde. I'm gonna give her a big one because this isn't a very big. That's not a very big drink. Well, okay. All aged and mixed. There's a big frothy water for you. Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Oh, you're fine. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. 
like, I can do whatever I want, study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than I was about, than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Yeah, right? Uh, school systems. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be at your priority and all that. It really should. It should be your number one priority all the time. Thanks. I really needed the encouragement. Thank you, Jill. Come back if you need any more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Bye, Kim. Thanks for not wanting to kill me this time. Please come again. Eh. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! It's definitely not the voice, but Dorothy! Ah! Dorothy, sorry, we're, we're, just, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. What? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. Yeah! All night long. Come again. To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? So hopefully something really fun. Well, first it was to, uh, to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket and I didn't promise, and I don't promise there will be any water in it. It's just a cold bucket? You calmed down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien <laughs> reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. She is serious. You need some human er, humanoid contact right now. <laughs> you had your alone time. Now we're playing by the rules. Please take care of me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so close to 8,000 for my electric bill. I made a lot. 25,570 is my total earnings. Trink's total today was 1,420. That's not very much. No mistakes. 30% commission. Yeah. Yeah, lots of tips. Yeah, flawless service bonus. 500 bucks. And another 500 bucks. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy? No, I've got an electric bill to pay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Dorothy something nice. Don't worry about it. Oh, is that it? Was there not gonna be like a big old cutscene? Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 needed. She wants to get in the holiday mood. Buying a mega Christmas tree will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. Who was that Will Lilum? A very good friend. Aw, oh, she let I want it. Oh. I thought something fun was going to happen. I'm thoroughly disappointed. That's okay. If you liked the video, please like it. If you didn't like it, please press the down don't like button and, and tell me why you didn't like it. I can change things up. It's a learning process, experience, whatever you want to call it. I'll get there. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. I don't have very many right now, so every single one of you definitely does help. Gotta, 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 gotta get that up there for fun. I don't know. I don't know what to do it anymore. <laughs> Uh, but thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.